Genesis 3, verse 1, and it said, Now, now the serpent was more subtle than any of the beasts of the what? Field, which you who? The Lord God had made. And he said unto who? Unto the woman, Yea, have God said, He shall not eat of any tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may what? And the fruit of the garden, of the tree that, that is in the tree that is in the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the weir, in the midst of the garden, God hath said, He shall not what? He shall not what? Eat of it, neither shall he do what? Touch it. And if he touch it, what will happen? Lest he die. And the serpent said, Unto the woman, he shall not what? He shall not surely die. My brothers and my sisters, I stop here to let you know that the devil is a liar. Amen. And the devil is a liar from the beginning, my brothers and my sisters. He said, He shall not surely die. Yes. That was a lie, Virgin. Yes. And the devil is the father of life. And if you love the devil, the devil does not love you. My brothers and my sisters, if you love the devil, the devil does not love you. And the devil will kill you, my brothers and my sisters. The devil is a liar from the beginning. And you know, my brothers and my sisters, the devil. I see the devil. But I see here the serpent. The serpent. You know, the devil has four cars, four characteristics. That you know, that you would have played. Go through the Bible, you will see the devil in, in about four different forms. I want to take you to Revelation, Revelation 12 and verse 9. Try to turn the Bible with me, please. Revelation 9 and verse. Revelation 12 and verse 9. And let us look at this. Serpent. Who is this serpent? Are we there? No. Amen? And let us start up from around verse 7. And let us see who is this serpent. And verse 7 said, And there was who are we? In heaven. Michael and his angel fight against who? The dragon. And the dragon fight against and his angel and prevail not, my brothers and my sisters. I want to let you know that Jesus is the winner man. He said, and he prevailed not. And neither was there place fight anymore in heaven. I want to look at the verse 9 said, and the great dragon was cast out. Who was cast the great dragon. Is that all what? Serpent, which is called who? The devil and who? And Satan, my brothers and my sister, and he was cast out into the earth. So we see here, my brothers and my sisters, the dragon. And we see here, my brothers and my sisters, the serpent. What do we see again? The devil and who? And Satan, my brothers and my sisters. So you see, the devil has four characteristics that is doing near my brothers and my sisters. Whenever I see the dragon, the serpent, and the devil, it is the same person. It is the same person, my brothers and my sisters. So there was war in heaven. I want to let you know, my brothers and my sisters, that the devil would have started the war in heaven. As the dragon, as the dragon, the dragon will always bring war on God's people. In Revelation, it talks again, so the dragon was brought with who? With the woman. And made to make, and made to make what? War with the remnant of her seed. It 
talk about the love life, this will be who, who will be talking, who will look like a what? A love will speak like a what? Like a dragon. I'll, I'll stop by here to let you know, my brothers and my sisters, that the dragon is a persecuting power. Persecuting power. And we see also the, the serpent. I want to let you know that the serpent is also the devil. He's a deceiver. He's crafty, my brothers and my sisters. Say so the God of Eden, he would have deceived Adam and Eve. And as the devil, my brothers and my sisters, he's the tempter. So he would have taken, so when Jesus now gone to the wilderness, he would have taken Jesus up into an exceedingly, into the holy city, and set him on a pinnacle, and said, if thou be the son of God, he should do what? Cause himself down, my brothers and my sisters, the devil will want to kill God's people. And as Satan, He's an ad ad adversary of our soul. So you see right here, my brothers and my sisters, the four characteristics of Satan is the, is the dragon, he's the serpent, he's the devil, and he's the dragon. You know, many people have said, hey, then what about the, 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 the lion? The Bible did not say the devil was a lion. He said the devil will walk about like a lion, seeking whom he may devour my brothers and my sisters. But the devil is not a lion, but Jesus is the conquering lion of the child of Judah. What do you say? Amen. Amen. So he said, so he said in verse 5. Verse 5 of Genesis 3. He said, For God knows that in that day he eat thereof, then your eyes shall be what? Open. Open. And he shall be what? As God's knowing what? Good from evil, my brothers and my sisters. Satan is the Satan is evil and the father of evil. And when man ate the fruit, then man become evil, my brothers and my sisters. Now Satan will whisper some things in your ears, telling you that, you know, you will be as God. You tell Adam and Eve. But I want to let you know that Adam and Eve was created in the image of God. Huh? Adam and Eve was of God. So they don't want to, want to be like God. And verse 6 said, And when the woman saw that it was good for what? For food. Hmm? And that it was a pleasant to the what? The eyes and a tree to be what? To be desired to make one what? Wise. She took off the fruit thereof and did eat and do what? gave unto his husband with her and they did eat my brothers and my sisters. You know, as the man of God, we must provide for our whole virtue. Let us not just leave the whole house and go back and see any anything and just eat virtue. The woman gave unto his husband and they did eat mercy. You know, there's something about me, but I have this thing about me. If I come home and I see corn, I'm in the valley of corn, I say, sister, you made the corn for me. If I see yam and I never let him, I say, sister, you made the corn for me. Running gun out. Always worrying, you know. And tell the one was cussing. And the one was saying, mm -hmm. You never left fish here. 
Ayo kumba kaya kama yesi fish. Ina kia tayo na atu wemi get fall. Ayo na skoma ya eat fish. Ye na skoma ya eat fish. Talking about her bread and her water shall be made sure. So I want to let you know, my brothers and my sisters, that from the beginning, we always have an issue with food. Food was a test for Adam and Eve. Food was a test for Adam and Eve. Huh? Food was a test. And they would have failed the test, my brothers and my sisters. There was this brother called Jacob and one called Esau. And you know, it's come to food again. Hmm? Esau would have sell his birthright for food. When the three Hebrew boys and Daniel went down to Babylon, what was the test, my brothers and my sisters? It was food. And can you imagine, my brothers and my sisters? Can you imagine? You will not get invited to the king's table to eat. You know, the king's table would have been the best food down there in Babylon. Hmm? Best food down there in Babylon. Maybe many of us would have desired that food to bread you. But you see, the three Hebrew boys and Daniel would have stabbed her. You know, they would have known that they should not eat unclean food. They would have read Leviticus 11, my brothers and my sisters, to stay away from unclean brother and things that, you know, would have offered to idols. So we see the three Hebrew boys with Daniel would have gone through their tests with food and they would have passed the test, my brothers and my sisters. But at time coming in God, people will have to stand up and they will be tests with food just to see. While Jesus was on earth, Jesus would have had his test. Is it so? Yes. Oh. So Matthew 4, verse 1 said, after Jesus baptized him, there was Jesus led up by what? By the Spirit where? Into the wilderness to do what? To be tempted of the devil. He said that when the tempter and after Jesus would have fasted, how much? Forty days and forty nights. He was what? Afterward, hunger. And the tempter would have come to him and said something to him. If thou be the son of God, he must do what? Commanded this stone to be made bread. Jesus would have fasted, my brothers and my sisters. You know, I want to let you know that fasting is important in the Christian life. You see, fasting is important spiritual and physical. You know, there was someone who said to cast out the demons. Jesus went up to the hill of transfiguration and they could not cast out the demons. After Jesus got cast on the demons, the disciples asked Jesus, how come to cast on the demons? He said, some things take fasting and prayer. You know, as I meant to know that a time is going to come where we cannot work. A time when we have to endure hunger, my brothers and my sisters. If you're not taking fasting one day, how are we going to endure hunger, my brothers? and my sisters. So you see, fasting is important. So it said, Jesus would have fasted, fasted for today and for tonight. And afterward, the tempter would have come to him after he was hungry. And said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, you should what? Come on this stone to make bread. But Jesus turned to him and said what? It is written, man shall not be what? Live by bread alone, but by what? But by every word that you want, proceeded out of the mouth of who? Of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall.
shall live by the word of God. You see, Jesus knows the word, and Jesus lived the word. Jesus stand by the word, my brothers and my sisters. But you see, even the Holy test does the same. Hmm? But the question, did Eve use the word on the devil? Question, did Eve use the word on the devil? Hmm? No. Did Eve use the word on the devil? No. Yes! Eve used the word on the devil. Eve said the Lord said we shall not touch it. Neither shall we eat it. The less we should do what? Die! But the, the difference between Jesus and Eve was what? Jesus was using the word. And Jesus was
was he who brought the name Babylon? Look at Jesus. Oh, we are looking even though in our time. How many people would tell us, hey, we like the church, but we can't serve God because we don't have to eat this. We don't have to eat the poor. You know, remember I just was out there in the street one evening and stopped by some young man on the street corner and they were there and they were talking. They were saying, man, what like what I was saying, man, you can't stop with the poor man. I wanted the preacher was saying, man, poor can not man, you can't stop with the poor. But you know, I have all the good city, I have all the good. Someone who has come to visit my father, one of my cousins. I'm calling D from Boko. It was a Friday evening and I was here cleaning down the one and he was talking to me and was saying, man, so and so and I was explaining to him. You know, at the point he said, man, I like how you know you keep up your church thing. I, I like the church, but I couldn't come to your church. I mean, can't stop it in work. <laughs> and all that stuff, think a couple weeks after we left, the man was in the hospital. I never hear said the man did. I mean, I said, how come this man did so quick? The Bible says our life is like people. Yes. And we are like grass. We and we cook them, we take this man with nice and we bruise them in the evening with his other way. And you hear the man that the man died virtually. And the first thing that came to my mind, it was the conversation that me and the man have. Talking about that little piece of poor. Poor cannot save you, my brothers and my sisters. Only Jesus can save you. All the justice. All the justice now. He will save you. He will save you. No, let us go to Revelation. You want to start at Genesis, you want to go to Revelation. Revelation 13. I want to look at verse, around verse 17. Let us go to verse 16. Are we there? You know, children of time is a head virgin. We too will have to go to our test. We too will have to go to our test. In Revelation 16 said, and he and he called it and he caused it all both small and what? And great and rich and what? Poor. And poor and free and what? And born to do what? Receive. To receive a mark in their forehead, in their and their right hand are in their forehead. In verse 17, let's get to the meat of the matter. And that no man might do what? Buy or what? Ourself. Except you know what? Have the mark or the name of the what? The beast or the number of what? Of his name, my brothers and my sisters. Chocolate style is ahead of us. And you know, I'm here to alert God people, to awake God people. It's not the smooth sailing, my brothers and my sisters. Just going on like that. Covid will have struck and we all get time of trouble is coming, my brothers and my sisters. Rough time is ahead for God people. You know, it's all here that you can't buy and you cannot sell except you have the mark. Hmm? The mark or the name or the number of his name. And I want to let you know that the devil is going to make it so easy for the world to upset this mark. 
You know, to, to receive the seal of God, we only need the seal of God. That is one mark. There's the truth set it up in our, in our forehead. But you have the mark, and you have the name of the beast, and you have the number of his name. So you can receive three something so that you can buy and sell. Buy and sell what, my brothers and my sisters? You know, talking to the ladies. You know, the next time you go into the, to the supermarket, take a good look around the supermarket. Take a look at the challenge, my brothers and my sisters. Because a time coming when God people will not be able to buy or sell, except they have the what? The mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I don't want God people to get comfortable. That all is well, my brothers and my sisters. You know, Sister Ray said something to me, it's in the world one, it's still with me. Yeah, I can explain. When I said some young man that gone to China, they think it was work, they were working. When they go up to China, they would have sent them back. When they give them a, like an injection, I give them a car. They would say, well, they say look, the young man said, Sister Ray said, when we are going into the supermarket, we, don't, we, we do not need a mask. We just take out the car and we show them with hand. And they let us in the supermarket. And, and you know, I, I'm starting to think, brother, and I said, if this is not it, then this is a foreshadow of it, brothers and sisters. Come in a time where you can't buy and you cannot sell unless you have the mark of the beast. You know, why would I look to Revelation? You know, I want to look to the great controversy, page 623, where Sister White would have tell us about the time of trouble. And he said, the people of God will not be free from suffering, but while persecution, while they, while distress, while they endure perversion and suffer for want of food. So you saying God it will be suffering for want of food. Eh? They will be suffering for want of food. And they will be well, let's talk about water food. And, and some of water food, they will not be left to perish. So he said, well, let's talk about water food. They will not be left to perish. But that God who cared for Elijah will care for his people. Eh? And in time, a famine will supply their needs, my brothers and my sisters. So you see, there will be a time of trouble, but God is going to care for his people. He said, he who nobody here on their head will care for them. And in time of famine, they shall be satisfied. So in time of famine, God people will be satisfied. He said, while the wicked are dying for hunger, listen again, while the wicked are dying for hunger and pestilence, angel will shield the righteous. And I said, hallelujah. He said, angel will shield the righteous and supply their want. He said, to him that walketh righteously is the promise given. Bread shall be given thee. His water shall be made sure as the praise the Lord. God is in control. Our water shall be made sure. Bread shall be given to us, my brothers and my sisters. But he said, but it's have a class that he put it in. He said, the 
and my sisters, somebody said, hey, you know the Lord, he's keeping you. What are you worrying about? Be that this man. Whatever be time, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love and mind, God will take care of you. As somebody here today, God will know part time will be coming. But no matter what may be the test, God will take care of you, my brothers and my sisters. We have nothing. My brothers and my sisters, Jesus is the winner man. Yes. I am on the winning side, my brothers and my sisters. Bread shall be given to him. His water shall be made sure. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.